duty to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Pursuant to the Public Meetings Act, adequate reading of the notice of this meeting was forwarded to the official township newspapers based on the bulletin board of captions that was sent on January 8, 2022. Roll call. Mr. Doyle? Here. Mr. Deegan? Here. Mrs. Peck Olson? Here. Mrs. Jones? Here. Mr. Here. Here. Right, we're going to go right into these resolutions. Get these guys working. Uh, <laughs> resolution R-117-22. Authorizing the hire of Joseph Franco as patrolman second class. Seventh class. Seventh class, excuse me. Make a motion to read through R 117 22. I'll second. Mr. Deegan? Yes. Mrs. Pesh Wilson? Yes. Mr. Doyle? Yes. Mrs. Williams? Yes. Mayor Bridge? Yes. Yeah, please. All right. Uh, Jerry, you want to come up with your family? Yeah. Uh, I'd like to read a uh, quick bio of uh, Officer Branco. Once he comes up here with his family. All right, Joe Branco was born, raised, and currently resides in Franklin Township. Joe graduated from Delcy Regional High School in 2012. After high school, Joe attended Camden County College and graduated in 2015 with an associate's degree in criminal justice. Prior to joining Franklin Township Police Department, Joe served as a Class II officer with Sea Isle City Police Department after graduating from the Cape May County Class II Academy in June of 2016. After a summer with CLPD, Joe served as a part-time, full-time officer with Newfield Police Department before joining Elk Township Police Department, where he graduated the Gloucester County Waiver Academy in December of 2017. When Joe is not working, he loves to be active and spends his time on the golf course and playing softball. Joe loves spending time with his family, friends, and fiance Tara. You have a Bible, right? Yeah. Uh, left hand on the Bible. Right hand up. Okay. Repeat, repeat after me. I, Joseph Branco. I, Joseph Branco. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will faithfully. That I will faithfully. Impartially. Impartially. And justly perform all the duties. Of a police officer of the Franklin Township Police Department. We both the Franklin Township Police Department. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear. I will support the Constitution. I will support the Constitution of the United States. Of the United States. The Constitution of the State of New Jersey. The Constitution of New Jersey. Yep. And that I will bear true faith. And that I will bear true faith. And allegiance. And allegiance to the same. To the same. And to the governments. To the governments. Established in the United States. Established in the United States. And in this state. And in this state. Under the authority of the people. Under the authority of the people. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. authorizing the hire of Charles Heimel as patrolman 7th class. I make a motion that we approve R-118-22. I'll second. Mr. Well, Deegan? Yes. Mrs. Special Olson? Yes. Mr. Doyle? Yes. Mrs. Swain? Yes. Mayor Britton? Yes. Matt, please. All right. Charles, you want to come up? All right. Charles grew up in Pittman and graduated from Pittman High School in 2007. Charles then attended Gloucester County College for two semesters prior to enlisting in the United States Marine Corps in 2008. Charles served as an active duty military police officer assigned to the Presidential Helicopter Squadron Security Forces, providing security for the Marine One Helicopter Fleet and White House assets, both home and abroad. Additionally, Charles was appointed as the Armed Ceremonial, ceremonial Guard for Marine One, saluting the President of the United States as he boarded and exited the helicopter around the world. 
After completing his service under the White House Military Office in 2012, Charles went on to serve as a military police officer for Marine Corps Base Quantico, receiving a discharge from active service in January of 2013. Charles continued his service in the Marine Corps Reserve until he was honorably, honorably discharged from the Marine Corps as a sergeant in November of 2017. Charles began his New Jersey law enforcement career with the Gibbsboro Police Department in October of 2017 as a patrol officer and was promoted to sergeant in June of 2021. Charles is currently continuing his education pursuing a degree in business administration and management. Charles now lives near Folsom with his fiance Marie and their two labs, Major and Gunny. In his free time, Charles enjoys hunting, fishing, golfing with friends, and spending time with his family. Charles also volunteers his time as an instructor for New Jersey Fish and Wildlife <laughs> Hunter Education and serves as a trustee for the Camden County Bureau Scholarship Fund and the Marine Corps Law Enforcement Foundation, raising funds to support the families of Marines, federal law enforcement officers, and Camden County first responders who have perished in the line of duty. Yep. Raise your right hand, please. Repeat after me. I, Charles Heimer. I, Charles Heimer. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will faithfully. That I will faithfully. Impartially. Impartially. And justly perform. And justly perform. All the duties of the police officer. All the duties of the police officer. Of the Franklin Township Police Department. Of the Franklin Township Police Department. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution. That I will support the Constitution. Of the United States. Of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And that I will bear true faith. And that I will bear true faith. And allegiance to the same. And allegiance to the same. And to the governments established. And to the governments established. In the United States. In the United States. In this state. In this state. Under the authority of the people. Under the authority of the people. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Welcome. Can I get a motion to approve resolution R-119-22, authorizing the hiring of Larry Holcraft as patrolman, 10th class. I make a motion that we approve R-119-22. I'll second. Yes. Mr. Wilson? Yes. Thanks, Mr. Doyle. Yes. Mrs. Wade? Yes. 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 All right, Larry is a lifelong Franklin Township resident That's and still currently ro resides in Franklin Township. He attended Delcy Regional High School where he graduated in 2018. Currently, Larry is taking online classes at Rowan University. Larry was previously employed as a class two in Avalon and a full-time patrolman in High Nellie. He graduated the Cape May County Police Academy class number 58. Larry's father is a retired Franklin Township police officer and our current school resource officer at Delcy Middle School. In high school, Larry played football and baseball. He was a 2017 All South Jersey first team kicker where he held the South Jersey uh, record for points after touchdowns and touchbacks. Repeat after me, raise your right hand, thank you. I, Larry Holcraft, I, Larry Holcraft. Do, solemnly swear do solemnly swear that I will faithfully, faithfully and impartially, and impartially justly, perform all the duties, justly perform all the duties of a police officer of Franklin Township, police officer of Franklin Township, police department, police department, to the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. I do solemnly swear. I just found this, uh, that I will support the Constitution. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. Of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And that I will bear true faith. And that I'll bear true faith. And allegiance to the same. And allegiance to the same. And to the governments established. And to the governments established. In the United States. In the United States. And in this state. And in this state. Under the authority of the people. Under the authority of the people. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations.
get a motion to approve resolution R120-22, authorizing the hiring of Sean Rubricus as patrolman 10th class. I make a motion that we approve R120-22. A second. Mr. Deegan? Yes. Mrs. Special Assistant? Yes, Mr. Doyle? Yes. Mr. Yes. Sean, you want to come up? Yes, sir. All right. Sean was born in Galloway, New Jersey. He's currently 23 years old and 23 years old and resides in Dorothy with his mother, Shannon, father Sean, and sister Ashley. During his childhood, Sean enjoyed playing sports, including basketball, soccer, baseball, and football. During his sophomore year of high school, Sean began to race dirt bikes. He did motocross and woods racing for three years. Now during his free time, Sean can be found hunting and fishing. Sean attended Weymouth Township Elementary School and Buna Regional High School. After his high school graduation in 2017, Sean began his college education at Cape May Community College, pursuing a degree in criminal justice. He currently has one year left to complete his associate's degree. While Sean worked towards his degree, he received a job offer from Seattle City Police Department and attended and completed the Cape May County SLEO Class II Police Academy during the summer of 2021. Sean remained a SLEO Class II Police Officer with the Seattle City Police Department until January of 2022. Most recently, Sean worked at the Pine Hill Police Department in Camden County as a Class II Officer. Would you look in the lab and read your right, please? Repeat after me. I, Sean O'Brickus. I, Sean O'Brickus. Do solemnly swear you that I will faithfully, that I will faithfully, impartially, impartially, and justly perform, and justly perform all the duties of a police officer, all the duties of a police officer for Franklin Township Police Department, for Franklin Township Police Department, to the best of my ability, to the best of my ability. I do solemnly swear, I do solemnly swear, I will support the Constitution, I will support the Constitution of the United States, of the United States, and the Constitution, and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey, of the State of New Jersey. And that I will bear true faith, and that I will bear true faith and allegiance, and allegiance to the same, to the same, and to the governments established, to the governments established in the United States, in the United States, in this state, in this state, under the authority of the people, under the authority of the people. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. I make a motion to approve R121-22. I'll second. Yes. Mr. Deegan? Yes. Mrs. Peshwalson? Yes. Mr. Doyle? Yes. Mrs. Lane? Yes. Mayor Brady? Yes. Thank you. 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 Blake, you good? All right. Uh, Blake was born in Bridgeton, New Jersey, to his parents Leslie and James. Blake is currently 21 and lives in Buna with his two-year-old son. Blake attended Eger Egerton Christian Academy in Newfield, then Buna Regional Middle School. Blake was then accepted into the engineering program program at the Atlanta County Institute of Technology in Mays Landing, and attended for his freshman and sophomore year of high school. Blake then moved to Williamstown with his father and stepmother. Blake was able to transfer to Gloucester County Institute of Technology, where he continued into their engineering program. Blake currently has over 50 college credits and is working towards his associate's degree at Rowan College of South Jersey. <coughs> Blake attended the Cape May County Cl Class II Police Academy in the summer of 2021. Blake was sponsored by the Seattle City Police Department and completed the Police Academy in July of 2021. Blake was a SLEO II class police officer with the Seattle City Police Department until February of 2022. Blake then received an offer from the Gloucester County Sheriff's Office where he became a Sheriff's Officer. Blake received the job and was sent to the Camden County Police Academy where he completed his waiver training to become a full-time police officer in March of 2022. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna put that down, we'll make it easier for <laughs> Raise your right hand, please, and repeat after me. I, excuse me, I, break rival, I, Blake Rebel. Rebel. 
sorry, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear that I will faithfully, that I will faithfully, impartially, impartially, and justly perform, and justly perform the duties of a police officer, the duties of a police officer of the township of the Franklin Township Police Department, of Franklin Township Police Department, to the best of my ability, to the best of my ability. I do solemnly swear, I do solemnly swear, I will support the Constitution, I will support the Constitution of the United States, of the United States, and the Constitution, and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey, of the State of New Jersey, and that I will bear true faith, and I'll bear true faith, and allegiance, and allegiance to the same, to the same, and to the governments established, and to the governments established in the United States, in the United States, in this state, in this state, under the authority of the people. People. Under the authority of the people. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Yes, sir. We're going to take a 10 minute break or so. We're going to chance to get some pictures and uh, clear the room. Thank you. Every motion to open the public hearing on the following ordinances. Uh, ordinance 01422, to model ordinance to exceed the municipal budget appropriation limits and to establish a cap. Make a motion that we open the public hearing ordinance number 01422. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. No one can motion to close the public hearing on 01422. I make a motion to close the public hearing. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Get a motion to pass 01422. I make a motion to approve 01422. Second. Uh, that was a public hearing. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Mr. Deacon? Yes. Mrs. Pesh Wilson? Yes. Mr. Doyle? Yes. Mrs. Green? Yes. Mayor Green? Yes. Make a motion to open the public hearing on 015.2, repealing, repealing orders 1311 of the Code of the Task of Franklin entitled Municipal Court and adopting a new Chapter 86 entitled Joint Municipal Court Township of Franklin to add the borough of New I think a motion to be open to public hearing for ordinance 015.2. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. We get a motion to close the public hearing on 015.2. Make a motion and we close the public hearing. Second. All those in favor? Aye. I get a motion to approve 015.2. Make a motion that we approve 015.2. Second. Mr. Deacon? Yes. Mrs. Press Wilson? Yes. Mr. Doyle? Yes. Mrs. Slade? Yes. Mayor Brown? Yes. We get a motion to open the public hearing on 016.2. Amending Chapter 295, Property Maintenance. Make a motion that we open the public hearing for 01622. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Making a motion to close the public hearing on 01622. Make a motion to close the public hearing. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Making a motion to approve ordinance 1622. I make a motion that we adopt ordinance 01622. Second. Mr. Deacon? Yes. Mrs. Pesh Wilson? Yes. Mr. Doyle? Yes. Mrs. Green? Yes. Mayor Green? Yes. I make a motion to approve, uh, open the first public portion for resolutions and ordinance and pull out. I make a motion to open the first public portion. Second. All those in favor? Aye. We need a motion to close the first public portion. Make a motion to be closed the first public portion. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Make a motion to approve correspondence and reports. Make a motion we approve correspondence and reports. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Make a motion to approve the minutes from June 14, 2022 and June 30, 2022. Make a motion to approve the minutes. On the second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Make a motion to approve the bill list. Make a motion to approve the bill list. On the second, please excuse myself from the right of the line. Mr. Deacon? Yes. Mrs. Dutch Wilson? Uh, yes, with the uh, excuse to excuse myself from the right of the line. 
Mr. Doyle? Yes. Mrs. Williams? Yes. Mayor Pringle? Yes. Can I get a motion to approve the roadside stand? Make a motion we approve the roadside stand. I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Resolution, can I get a motion to approve resolution 114.22, appointing Brian Phillips and Kelly Walsh to the Agricultural Advisory Committee in accordance with the Township Code. I make a motion that we approve R114.22. Second. Mr. Deegan? Yes. Mrs. Bess Wilson? Yes. Mr. Doyle? Yes. Mrs. Green? Yes. Mayor Brennan? Yes. I get a motion to approve resolution 115.22 appointing Jeffrey Owens as a laborer in the Department of Public Works. And that's pending a background it's check and everything else, correct? Right? Yes, sir. I make a motion to approve R115.22. Um, with the follow-up issues noted. Second. Mr. Deegan? Yes. Mrs. Bess Wilson? Yes. Mr. Doyle? Yes. Mrs. Swain? Yes. Mayor Bridget? Yes. We need a motion to approve resolution 116.2, authorizing close, close out change order number one and final payment estimate to Arawak Payment Company for Pennsylvania Avenue Phase 2. I make a motion that we approve R116.22. Second. Mr. Deegan? Yes. Mrs. Petch Wilson? Yes. Mr. Doyle? Yes. Mrs. Wayne? Yes. Mayor Bridget? Yes. We need a motion to approve resolution 122. R, what is that? 122 122 22. 122 22. Approval to submit a grant application and execute a grant contract with the New Jersey Department of Transportation for Williamstown Road Improvement. I make a motion to approve R, 122 22. Second. Mr. Deegan? Yes. Mrs. Petch Wilson? Yes. Mr. Doyle? Yes. Mrs. Wayne? Yes. Mayor Bruno? Yes. We need a motion to approve resolution 123.2, approval to submit a grant application and execute a grant contract with the New Jersey Department of Transportation for Sunny Hill Avenue Roadway Improvement. And a move from there. Well, we, 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 didn't want you to get any, we didn't want you to get any favoritism. Yeah, we can pay that. I make a motion that we approve R-123-22. Second. Mr. Deacon. Yes. Mrs. Tesh-Wilson. Yes. Mr. Doyle. Yes. Mrs. Green. Yes. Yes. Matt, these are just the applications. Yes. Yes. Yeah. The motion to approve resolution 124.2, granting renewal of liquor license within the Township of Franklin. 2022 2023 year. I make a motion to approve R24.2. 1.4, excuse me. Second. Mr. Deegan? Yes. Mrs. Tesh-Wilson? Yes. Mr. Doyle? Yes. Mrs. Slade? Yes. Yes. Motion to approve resolution 125.2, uh, temporary emergency budget. I make a motion that we approve R. 125. Mr. Deacon? Yes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Is Moise calling? Right. Mrs. Bess Wilson? Yes. Mr. Doyle? Yes. Mrs. Wayne? Yes. Yes. Any motion to approve resolution 126.2 all driving the fireworks display by Fire Techno for the National Night Out? I'd like to thank you for your bank to fund for that money motion that we uh, approve R126.2. I'll second. Yes. Mr. Deegan? Yes. Mrs. Tess Wilson? Yes. Mr. Doyle? Yes. Mrs. Williams? Yes. Motion to introduce the following ones. When's the hearing going to be? August 9th. August 9th. With the hearing date? Uh, oh, ordinance 1722, amending chapter 35614. Towing and storage services fees for the service of the council. Go to the council to sign. I think a motion that we introduce O14 22. One second. Mr. Deacon? Yes. Mrs. Cush Wilson? Yes. Mr. Doyle? Yes. Mrs. Wayne? Yes. Yes. Can I get a motion to introduce ordinance 1822, amending chapter 253? Name development of the code in the council of France. And again, that would be O over the I make a motion that we introduce where it is O1822. Second. Mr. Deacon? Yes. Mrs. Pesh Wilson? Yes. Mr. Doyle? Yes. Mrs. Lane? Yes. Mayor Yes. 
Is there a motion to open second public portion for any time? Make a motion to open second public portion. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Okay. Second. All in favor? My name is uh, Mark Warner, and I am uh, a resident of this township. I've been here for about 14 years, and I have um, two items I'd like to bring up. I'm going to have my neighbor present one, and I have some paper I could pass out. Can you get your address, please? Yes, I'm, I'm, yes, I'm 159 Nicholas Drive. Thank you. Thanks. Sure, I'll bring it up. Okay, thanks. Let me just. Uh, it's Mark Warner, like Warner Brothers. That's your sound system. There's too much noise. You want me to? Your PA. You want me to talk without that? I can speak no, louder. No, no, it's not you. It's, okay. it's them. <laughs> Yeah, it's static. There it is. You got a bad, you got a bad cable or something. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Is that okay? Yes. Okay. So it's Mark Warner, 159 Nicholas Drive. And uh, we have two items I'd like to present. I'm going to have my neighbor uh, bring the second item up. Uh, but first, I just want to say I really uh, been here for 14 years, enjoy, love the town, love the area, I love what everyone does. And I just um, wanted to say that wasn't coming down to complain, but just wanted to help out the neighborhood here. And uh, the first thing uh, I wanted to talk about is uh, our retention pond. We have a retention pond, I guess it's a retention pond in our neighborhood that serves Nicholas Drive. And um, last couple of years, it looks like it's just uh, gone downhill. Uh, the major issues we have, the neighbors are complaining, the water doesn't seem to drain properly and it's black water we get a lot of mosquitoes the fence is breached and there has been a bunch of trees that have fallen and i've taken some pictures um, i can leave this book with you but i have some pictures just to kind of illustrate it all but the fence is breached the security gate is still though locked it's still open enough for a child to get in so we don't know if we either need the fence don't need the fence and the other thing is it's a beautiful town we got a beautiful neighborhood and it just doesn't look right when you're coming in as a as a neighbor as a as an occupant or a visitor we've got a bunch of trees out front that look like they're about to fall we had one fall a couple of years ago and we kept calling about it and eventually it fell luckily the wrong way and we're just worried that um, the trees in front of the retention pond that are adjacent to our address they might, uh, they don't look good, but they might be a hazard as well. And so what we're looking for is for the township to come up with a solution. I'm not an engineer, I don't know what to do. I've heard some suggestions. We don't know if there's a bunch of clay that, down below that's keeping the water from leaving. We don't know if it has to be built up, but it really needs to be looked at by the township, if you could, please. And it's- I, I, I can assure you that tomorrow, Okay, no, that's no so, problem. We yeah, appreciate it. Uh, you know, something, you know, feel free to call. I mean, there's a there's that form online, Barb. Yes, there's a citizen's uh, yeah. concern. Okay. No matter what time, seven days a week, we can get that. Great. That, that's fantastic. So we can get some information. I appreciate it. How does, I just, I'm kind of new to this process. If you look into it and you decide that it's something that you want to make a project out of, what is well, I mean, I think we, we yeah. 
Okay. Right, so we got two. Exactly. He's going to start with the approval. Oh, I'm sorry, Sometimes sir. It's owned by okay. A developer or an HOA. Okay. You know, there's no HOA here. Council developer wants to put council. Yeah, okay. I don't think there so is. It's probably not on our maintenance list. We have a storm water maintenance program. There's dates and times, so we're going around now for the boat. There's no outside space. Yeah. So, yeah, so our, we'll thanks. Morning, yeah, because our dream is just. The, the, the poison ivy is coming, coming over. I would just love to clean that thing out and just put up little new trees if we had the budget. But that's a wish list. But, anyways, the water is the thing we're mostly worried about on the appearance. Do you need these pictures or. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, very good. All right, I'm going to thank you. I'm going to have my neighbor. We'll get somebody. Uh, this yeah. is your phone number, 889. Uh, that is 889-0386. Somebody contact you. you know, or if you want to shoot an email to Barbara with your email address. Okay. Let okay. her know and we can send you. Okay, Barbara. I'll, okay, that sounds great. That's fantastic. Okay, thank you. I'm going to have Tay Sear come up on the second. Yes, no problem. Thank you. thank you very much. Okay, thanks. Okay. Good evening, Mayor, uh, Township Committee, uh, Chief, and uh, Administrative Members. My name is Taysir Elgar Bowie. Uh, I live at 149 right next door to uh, Mr. Warner. I moved there uh, a year and a half ago. It has been nothing but a pleasant um, experience so far. I love everything. I concur with everything that he was saying. There's a little trail right next to that um, pond, as you could say. Um, a lot of kids with bikes, they ride, drive that, uh, ride that trail. It's small, it's not big, but um, it's overpopulated. It is a city. Um, land because they came out last year i definitely saw them try to clean yeah try it, it's i understand but um it's just it does need a little bit more attention the uh the issue that i'm bringing in front of you today is uh while construction is ongoing while construction work is ongoing in the area please consider the following uh left turn uh green arrows is needed at the traffic lights at the intersection of west boulevard and south delsey drive in malaga uh right in that wawa cvs uh we could, um, that part right there that's not our that's a state highway okay we can try to pass that along to the state engineering office okay i know what you're talking about so you're coming up to uh, wawa or whatever you want to go left uh, so it's from pretty much all three directions. Yeah. There's only one green left turn, and that's coming from 40 to the Wawa. Uh, the, the major concern is a lot of tractor trailers come in from that highway, make a left to go into Wawa, and then that impedes where exactly the lanes are for the left turn coming westbound. Uh, it, it's blocked, completely blocked, at, to it's make a left, to make correct. A and then a lot of people well, a lot of pedestrians and a lot of um, other people cross the street to go into the diner. So now you have to juggle both directions at the same time. CVS from that Wawa Street, um, it's a double line, double yellow line. You cannot make a left. Unfortunately, I'm also guilty of it. Everybody, everybody's guilty of it. It is a safer uh, way to go into that way because if not, then you have to wait at that traffic light, make a left, which is very hazardous, and then you have to make a left at uh, at the McDonald's and then go into the CVS parking lot. So just something like that would uh, definitely help a lot of people. Correct. Correct. I appreciate it so much. Thank you guys. Thank you for listening. Hi. It's not working. Okay. Hi, Mayor. Uh, Kevin Kelton from Nicholas Drive. I'm here to support uh, my uh, neighbors as well. Uh, I've lived uh, on Nicholas Drive uh, for, I don't know, 30 years or so. And I, I'm very familiar with the, um, I think it's called a detention basin. Uh, or, uh, in the back of the development because the water does has nowhere to go uh, once it, it rests in the basin. Uh, I think my terms are right because retention means it, it goes to the next location. Detention, I guess, it would pool. And it, but I believe my observation is the problem may be that 
the detention basin is so deep, you know, uh, 10 feet, 12 feet from the top to the bottom that it's probably hit the clay layer. And no matter what kind of excavation is done, you're just going to be excavating clay and you're, and that water is con going to continue to stand there and breed mosquitoes and snakes and rodents. Uh, it, it appears to me it needs a, a complete redesign to, to bring the, uh, the uh, ground up so, so you can maybe put top topsoil there so any incoming water will percolate below grade and you won't have standing water but it, you'll probably need an, an engineer yeah from what I, I can see and as far as my neighbors concerned uh, uh, with the left turn signals I agree a hundred percent all you all you folks have been there accidents uh, every week at that inter yeah and there's no left turn signals so you can't see around the in oncoming traffic. Hopefully, the space out there is going to work now. Hopefully, it's maybe something that can come up with it. Maybe it could be part of it. Yeah, that'd be. I really don't know where you're looking for. Okay. We didn't notify that. That's awesome. Yeah. You know, they're widening. Yeah, that's been going on for many, 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 many yeah. months. I mean, now it's like the same amount of railway jam. And is there. Have you heard of, uh, is there any indication uh, for the repaving of uh, Route 40 in Franklin Township as part of their, uh, all of Route 40 in Franklin Township? I mean, that, there's, I know. But have you heard anything about? I thought you meant up in the construction site. No, no, from the construction site west. Yeah, yeah, go, going west towards Porch Town Road and. <coughs> I'm working on the bridge. I started work on that bridge just yesterday. They're doing the outside on 40 there. Okay. Uh, they did the one side. Now they're working. They just started working. On Right, they, and they were working on that last year as well, and then they finished and opened it up, and now they're back again to... Uh, uh, but I, I was just wondering about the, the, the pave, the, the Route 40 itself. There's, there's uh, uh, bumps, and it's been like that for years, and I was just wondering if, the, if that's in the works as well. Normally they'll let us know when they're doing something. Okay, okay. All right, thank you. Thank you. Good evening. Rich Phillips, 11 Clubhouse Drive, Franklinville. Good. Evening. Good. Uh, as we know, they're going to lower the lake to repair the dam at Iona Lake. And when they do that, I would like to have, have uh, some work done where the current dock is and the fishing area and the parking lot. So I'm actually asking, who should I address my, what I would like to see done? Who would I? Would you would like to see done? Um, Just some ideas. Send an email, send an email. 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 Send it to the concerns thing, or you just the bar. We got Barb's email. Yes. I'll send it to Barb, and then we'll get it to we'll get it to Barb. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Barb. I mean, between your open request, Barb, you could probably put that in there. Wow. We get a motion to close the second public portion. Make a motion that we close the second public portion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Mayor reports. Mr. Doyle. Mr. D. The library of renovation is coming along extremely well. Uh, we're hoping that uh, we'll be able to open the library, hopefully, uh, the first week of August. Um, 
kind of the soft opening for having the re for scheduling the real pink ceremony on August the 20th. Uh, with a little bit of fanfare down there. But, uh, hopefully, uh, everyone will uh, see the fruits of the labor and the hard work that the folks are not only the contractor, but the folks in the library are going to see the so mr deegan and i met with the deputy chief uh and the police well they're working with the county on the straight treatment program uh we have national night out i don't think we're meeting before then so that is on the 4th of august and starts at 6 30. um canine and lots of fun activities with the fireworks display at the end then um they are also working um, to do a few few things within the department tomorrow night uh, down at 20 treats is the canine fundraiser make sure you ask for the special franklin township canine pup pup it's for the dog. Vanilla, iced tea, whipped cream, peanut butter swirl, and foam on top. But the chocolate? 50% of the proceeds are going to um, the canine. Please go out and support them. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I just want to. You know, I hope everyone noticed there was five officers we ran through here tonight to uh, put on the force. There's two more coming. Um, backfill a job at DBW. We're going to backfill another one. Potentially a third. Hopefully by next meeting we'll have that lined up. Um, so we're trying to get some things done. These guys are working on it. Uh, I know that they, they started mowing the basins. Don't know how many basins are in the township. Uh, none of the rappers starting to do it. The Bureau of Nichols drive tomorrow. We'll look at that. I see what we can do. And, uh, that's all I really have. So thank you for coming out tonight. Thank Good you. luck to the new office. Thank you. We need a motion to adjourn. We need a motion to adjourn. All in favor? Aye. Thanks for coming out.